one of the questions I got after doing my series on online dating was how do you know this guy is serious? For instance, you've just met someone online or you are actually browsing through profiles online. You get to see the person's outlook, the person's picture, you look through the person's profile. How do you get to know that this person is genuine? You can tell from just looking at somebody's profile, reading through, browsing and watching pictures just to know that he is serious. But there are a few pointers that I'm going to mention for you to be able to look at as you browse through profiles on online dating sites to fish out somebody who might be a serious candidate or not. Hello lovelies, it's good to see you once again. If you are new here, my name is Rita Xiao. I am an educator, a public speaker, and the author of You Unstoppable. I am also the founder of a non-profit organization that is working so hard to empower young women and girls. In today's video, I'm talking about how do you know this guy I've just met online is serious? These are the questions I got from some of my amazing ladies who messaged me privately and I really really want to delve into this and then bring you the details so that you can know that the person whose profile you're looking at is serious or not or the person who has just messaged you is serious or not. So you don't waste your time. Even as a man messages you online and shows interest in you and wants to start a conversation with you, how do you get to know that this is the serious kind or not? The first and foremost thing you have to take into consideration is that the person puts in efforts in putting together his profile. The person is not just the kind that just throws words here and there and doesn't really complete the application. I'm going to use Afro introductions as an example because that's where I have been and that's where I met my partner. So I'm going to use that as an example. Even though I tried some other dating sites, I didn't like any of them. So I didn't spend time at all. <laughs> I opened, I met terrible experiences. And I'm like, okay, I'm done here. And then I closed it. So I didn't really um, feel much about that. But where I spent quite a longer time was Afro Introductions and that was where I met my partner. So I'm going to talk about that. So when you go on Afro Introductions and you look at someone's profile, you see their picture, you read about them, you read about what they're looking for, whether they want to relocate to somewhere or don't want to relocate, um, the kind of woman they're looking for, the qualities they want to see in the woman, whether uh, they want the woman to be within a, um, a space. For instance, someone wants a woman within his country or gives a, a, a number of kilometers, okay, that you should be apart before they are interested in meeting you or dating or actually even starting a conversation. When you look at this person's profile, his profile is filled with information. He feels the necessary information, very valuable information, very important information that every person would want to know. The person puts it there single or divorced, having children, willing to relocate or not. When that person spends time writing details about his profile, about what he's looking for, the kind of personality he has. Some even go to the extent of taking personality tests, which sometimes are on some dating sites and fills the complete application neatly, putting in effort, showing that he is really serious. That is one thing you would want to look out for when you go online and browsing through and checking for potentials. You don't want to go to a profile and the person just ticks any, 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 you know? <laughs> what kind of woman are you looking for? Any, height, any, um, you know, location, any. That person just doesn't care. He's just there for, you know, fun. Or he's just there for just... So while away time, another indicator that this person is serious is someone who pays to upgrade his profile. Imagine that on app for introductions, we have three different categories. You are either a standard member, a platinum member, or a gold member. But then you meet this young man who is a standard member. He cannot even message you in the first place. If he messages you, yes, you would see the message, but it's covered, it's blank. You can read the message. And unfortunately, you can reply, but he cannot read it either. So someone who doesn't pay <laughs> to upgrade his profile, it's like the person is just there. He's not serious. Seriously, you don't want to spend time at all with such a person. This is not to say that people who uh, pay to upgrade their profile into maybe platinum or gold are also very serious people. Not all of them. So there are exceptions. You have to look for other things. 
this alone does not indicate that he is serious so be careful the indicator is someone who mentions family and other very vital information on his profile this person mentions that he has children or he's been married before he mentions his family in his write-up like we all go there we have to write something little about us on our profile okay and this person writes and talk about family his kids his uh what he loves to do and you can see that his family oriented he has a little bit of um, information that touches on okay I have this number of kids or I'm expecting this number of kids or these with my parents or I have this kind of relationship with my parents that is an indicator that that person is a serious person and family oriented but somebody who just uh, you look on his profile and he says message me and get to know me better like do you get me you have been given an opportunity to say a little bit. It's just like giving a pitch about who you are. You are demonstrating to someone who has never met you in person who you are. So you need to at least put in some effort into writing, into showing that this is who you are. Yes, you are there. You claim you are looking for a serious relationship, but you don't mention anything about your personality, anything about your family, anything about what you're expecting when it comes to family okay but you write there you are looking for serious relationship and marriage so when you reach such things like someone writes something like hi there just here to look around message me if you want like come on <laughs> this person is outrightly telling you he's just there to have fun if you message him you're wasting your own time also someone whose profile portrays humility and normalcy okay <laughs> you look at a person's profile you look at the pictures and you see oh this is normal oh this is humbling this is amazing this is just natural of everybody else you look at someone's profile and all you feel is that he's rude why would you even attempt even messaging that person so that's something that i, I really really want you to take into consideration the profile we put up on dating sites are opportunities for us to market ourselves, to talk about ourselves, to say who we are, to not share private information, but share information about us that allows somebody else who has never met us in person to kind of begin to say, wow, this is genuine. This is nice. This could be it. He could be the one. Another indicator is that when you read about the person's profile, the person's interests, the person's um, hobbies and stuff like that, you should see some sort of similarity and connection between what the person does and loves, okay, to what you do as well. Because if you begin to see someone's profile and his interest is outrightly like opposite of what you would want to do, <laughs> and his hobbies and everything is like opposite of what you would prefer or you would want to do or something you would be interested in learning or trying out no need to even try because interest and hobbies listed on someone's profile is what he or she does in his spare time in uh, i mean to make himself happy so here is someone who says he loves clubbing he loves going for parties and having you know sleepovers and stuff like that and you do not like that so why would you even message the person in the first place that's what i'm saying his hobbies and his interests should be something that you are also interested in it should be something that attracts you it should be something that is almost similar to what you love to do or what you would want to do okay because some of us come from areas or places where like i'm an african and my hobby is definitely and what i would love to do and what i love doing is definitely different from what my husband loves doing or the interest he stated and hobbies he stated on his profile because he is from a different country and his culture and tradition is different from mine. But one thing that I realized was this. I love hiking and he loved hiking. He stated that. I love to have adventure. And he mentioned he loves going on fishing, ice fishing. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I want to know what ice fishing is like. Because yes, there is so much snow there. And he showed me when they went out on um, ice fishing. And I saw the process and I'm like, oh my goodness, I want to do this. 
something of that sort is what I'm talking about that you should feel some sort of interest okay when that is not there uh, it's a no-go area <laughs> Finally, when this person messages you, his message is not just vague. It's not just in the air. Hey, how are you doing? You look pretty. Please, <laughs> that's not a serious person. <laughs> okay, someone who messages you and his message is thought-provoking. Someone who messages you and tells you a little about himself and requests to know you as well. Someone who messages you and start talking about something you wrote on your profile that caught his attention. Someone who messages you and begins to praise who you are, your personality, just by reading your profile and begins to ask questions about what makes you come alive, what you're interested in, what you really want to get on like that page and what, I mean, just someone who shows a sign of curiosity about who you are and what you're looking for. That is what you want to go for. Not someone who just messages you and say, hello, beautiful. <laughs> like, I want to know you better. Like, come on. So we have to be critical about the people we begin to give our time to when we start dating online. When the person messages you, go onto his profile, read through his profile, check his qualities, check his interests, check his hobbies, check even his job, check about his family status, check the range, how far the partner he's looking for should be. Some people are very adventurous, so they are okay. They don't care whether you are African, whether you are wherever, but even that, they still have some limitations, okay? And some people, they might be very interested in you. They might like you, but might not have the money to travel, you know, to come visit you because that's their situation. So when you start having a conversation, it might be a waste of time for both of you just because you did not do your part of the work by going to read his profile and know and then you just get up and message the person so i hope that this video would go a long way to answer the questions you've asked me how do you know that someone i've just seen either seen his profile or just met or who has just messaged you on a dating site how do you know that this person is serious even though i've mentioned this point and i know that it would go a long way to help you this is not to say that people who demonstrate this would continue and would remain uh, truthful and would end up, you know, be like it is for us today. There are some people who start who demonstrate these things and then as the conversation goes on, they may just slip off and just, you know, run off or something, take off without even <laughs> letting you just ditch you somewhere. But the fact is this, when you meet the people, look for at least four of these characteristics or of these things that I've mentioned in them it encourages you it shows you that yes at least this person might be a serious person and then you take the step but if you don't see these things please don't even bother yourself it's just like a waste of time if you are new here i welcome you to join this amazing family by subscribing to this channel please leave a nice comment down there and please don't forget to like this video as well and remember to click the notification bell so that anytime a new video is up you can be notified thank you so much for your time and i'll see you in my next video bye